This is actually a fantastic question. A lot of churches don't teach you how to reconcile the Old Testament and how to make sense out of it. And that's because most churches believe the Old Testament served its purpose and now it gets slipped back on its dusty shelf now that Jesus came and you don't have to worry about it anymore. So they don't even try to reconcile it. But they are dead wrong about those scriptures not being valid for us anymore. All scripture is profitable for our learning and the entire Old Testament came from God directly. So with that being said, let's dive into these verses. 2 Kings 2, 23-25 and Elijah went to Bethel, and while he was going up on the way, some small boys came out of the city and jeered at him, saying, Go up, you bald head, go up, you bald head. And he turned around, and when he saw them, he cursed them in the name of the Lord. And two she-bears came out of the woods and tore forty-two of the boys. And from there he went to Mount Carmel and returned to Samaria. When you first read it, it's almost comical. You're like, what is going on? This seems like a ridiculous situation. And to some, it might even seem petty for a prophet of God to have bears tear up a group of small boys because they called him bald. But let's look into this a little bit deeper. Let's review it in the interlinear Bible, and we're going to focus on these two words, little and children. Let's look at children first. In the outline of biblical usage, it can be boy, lad, servant, youth, retainer. That's not a whole lot of help, so let's look it up in the lexicon. And as you see here, the word can mean anything from a newborn to a 20-year-old man. So it's very possible that some of these people were adults by modern standards. Now let's look at the meanings for the word little in this context. In the outline of biblical usage, it can mean young, small, insignificant, or unimportant. Let's look at some of the different translations. It can mean a group of boys. This version translated it as insignificant young men. This version translated it as a gang of youths. So it's very possible we're not talking about a group of young schoolboys here. This could very well be like a street gang of young men harassing people. And let's look at to tear them. This can mean to split apart, cleave, break open, or divide. So those bears could have just been sent in to disperse them, not necessarily to kill them or tear them up. And in the Torah, God commands you to respect your elders. In 1 Peter 5, we're told to be subject to our elders. And in 1 Timothy 5, we're told not to speak harshly to elders, but to appeal to them as our own fathers. Which obviously this street gang of kids was not doing any of. When you examine the context of these verses deeper, it appears that a street gang of young men was harassing a prophet of God. In that context, it seems they deserved what was coming to them. <laughs> 